Hi there. In this video, we'll talk about VLOOKUP formula. Plain and simple, the starting point of VLOOKUP formula. What is it meant for? And eventually, we'll also talk about why is it so important to learn more about VLOOKUP. Now, in this example before our screen, lies one database and the database is a theoretical database. Serial number, employee ID, name, gender, age. Now, from these given set of employee IDs and names, maybe for curiosity, I would have picked up four random employee IDs. Now, I want to know what the names are for the respective IDs. Now, if you were to do this manually, you would have to first copy this entire cell. You'll have to press Control F. Then Control F will prompt you with find and replace box. I'll have to paste that particular number in that box. And this will enable me to find all the occurrences of this number. Now, this is a manual method to search for a number. What we want is an automated formula solution, which not only fetches us the name for the first employee ID, but all the remaining three as well. Let's see how it works. I start by writing equal to VL. Now, since 2007 version of Excel, as soon as you start typing in few letters of any formula, you will get a drop down. If the drop down already highlights the formula that you desire to use, you can press the tab key to bring it along. Now here comes the series of parameters which we'll be trying to feed in to get our answer. The first thing it says lookup value. Be very careful. This is lookup value and not values. This is the link with which I'm supposed to connect my question with the database from where I'm supposed to pull the answer. So lookup value look for the employee ID. Now, I'll put a comma so that I can proceed to the next part of the parameter which says table array. Now, one of the prerequisites of VLOOKUP is whatever link, whatever common value that you're trying to connect your question with the table, that must be present in the first column of the selection of table that you are going to make. So, although it says table array, doesn't mean that you will choose the entire table. Because in which case, VLOOKUP will not be able to look for that value in the first column of the chosen table array. So what we do, we go ahead and start selecting the table array selection right from the column which contains the common link. Once I have chosen that, I'm going to press function key F4. Now we have seen this in earlier videos that this helps me lock the entire range of table array. If I proceed with copy pasting the formula downwards, this table array will hold its current position. It will not move down. Eventually, in some time, you will see what would have happened had I not pressed F4 and locked the range. So thereafter, I put a comma, column index number. Amongst the number of columns that you have chosen, the four columns, which column is supposed to fetch you the real answer? That's the second one. So I'll give a numeric value, which is two. Had you wished to get the gender of the particular employee ID, you would have given three. As of now, I'll stick to two, comma. So the fourth parameter which it asks for is true versus false. Since I want an exact match, that means only if you find this particular number in the database, only and only then you please fetch me the name. If there is even one digit difference, please do not give me the name instead give me any so as of now i'm going to choose false now for vlookup or for excel rather false is equivalent to zero and true is equivalent to one concept of boolean value hence instead of false a lot of professionals prefer to give zero which is fine let me close the bracket and press enter as i copy paste this formula down through mouse you'll notice Amongst the four employee IDs, I only got one NA. And why is that? The primary reason of this NA could be that this particular number doesn't exist in the database in which you are trying to look for that particular number. So this was basics of VLOOKUP. To continue with our previous example, you may have also asked me, what if I wanted to know the age of these employees? So let's just do a quick round of practice and see how we look up the same formula can be used to fetch the age. So equal to V L. Let me press the tab key, look up value. 
this is the anchor this is the common link which will help you fish out the information from the database given below so look up value looking for that employee id comma table array now i would definitely choose the table array starting from the column which contains which contains the common link now you can very well propose to me look if i had taken look up value as the name the previous cell name in which case the table array selection would have had to be starting from this column and thereafter onwards so as of now let me stick to my original strategy that is equal to vl pressing the tab key looking up for value employee id comma table array let me start from the cell or the cell below doesn't matter if you do not take in the header as of now i'm taking the full data including the employee id as the first column now assume for a moment that you did not press f4 which is used to lock the range and i continue column index number in this case i want age which is in the fourth column four now be careful if there are any hidden columns that must also be counted for counting the sequence so as of now since there are no hidden columns so 1 2 3 4 finally zero or false or exact match i could have also given zero now before i press enter let me just remind you that i did not freeze this particular table array now when i copy paste it down notice i'm getting two nas now why is that so let me help you figure it out if i double click on the first formula notice the blue border it is pointing to the first employee id and the table array is being highlighted by the red border if i look at the next one as expected the blue border has shifted down to the next employee id but on the other hand the red border is indicating that the table array has also shifted so eventually as you move forward vertically copy pasting the formula down the table array marked by the red border is pointing to an area which i did not choose in the first place it has shifted below so technically speaking we look up is looking for this particular employee id trying to look for this in this designated red colored border area and it doesn't find that id why because that id lies outside so for this very reasons i wanted us to fix the table array so i go back to the formula i choose this entire selection and i'm going to press f4 once having done so let me press enter which i have let me then copy paste the formula mm -hmm. now i get the perfect answer so this was completion of basics of vlookup formula